On my table, I have the SimProjects Wind Simulation Kit. So this is a modular setup. You don't need to buy everything from SimProjects. You can buy bits and pieces if you want. But of course, the main you know, centerpiece is the controller board here. So very small, fits in the palm of my hand. And we have USB to your PC. So you can just see the type of uh, cable and plug you need, sort of printer style cable. DC power in, and for that, we have this adapter, so a 12 volt 6 amp adapter, pretty standard stuff. So again, if you have one of these adapters lying around, you don't need to buy an extra one, or you can buy this from some projects, entirely up to you. As for the fans, uh, what you do need to make sure, um, as you can see on here, those are the two fan connectors. They are four pin connectors. So you need to make sure you have four pin fans, as we do here, four wires. So make sure you get the right fan, otherwise it won't work. Um, so you could use your own fans, it's up to you, but you want to make sure really for this type of uh, setup, you want some high speed fans. So these are 16,000 RPM Sanyo fans, and uh, they are, you know, they're kind of small, but they are kind of, they are deep as well. So they do have some sort of like very big blades in there, <laughs> or deep blades. And uh, yeah, so quite loud, you'll see in a moment, they do get pretty uh, <laughs> noisy. Um, but also of note is the fans that they supply, some projects, they have put them in a purpose-built 3D printed case just so you don't kind of catch your fingers on them, etc. And you can see there's also a 3D printed grill at the back. Uh, for mounting, you see those little four holes there. They include these brackets. So this includes uh, uh, some nuts and bolts as well. But as you can see, these are GoPro style brackets. That's the basically the constituent parts of this uh, things that I've got from Sim Projects. Now the first thing which I'll say, which is a little bit disappointing, Admittedly, uh, firstly, the board it doesn't have an enclosure. And the second thing is these uh, wires are rather short, really. So that might work for you, but bear in mind, that's the distance of what you're going to get from the controller board, which may not be enough. So I've already sort of thought about this, and I have my solution here. So first off, uh, for the enclosure, I found this on Thingiverse. And it is a little custom little case. And I wonder why some projects haven't included something like this with the kits, with the, the controller board, since um, I downloaded this from Thingiverse. It's not an official um, product from them. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description to this case. But yeah, it's a really nice little custom case. Fits absolutely perfectly. And now we have a nice solid little enclosure that's gonna protect the board. So yeah, perfect. So you can got the holes. Uh, for the fans. To extend the wire coming off the fans, I've bought these extra extension cables and I can simply daisy chain them together and just increase the length as much as I need. So that solves the other problem too. The final thing I want to show you is I'll be using two of these magic arms to attach the fans to my sim rig. Uh, so yeah, useful bits of apparatus these. Um, you sort of move them around and then when you're happy with the position, you just uh, Dial it in like that and it locks its place. Coming up next, we'll get this all set up and then run some tests using the SimDash software. If you like my content, consider becoming a member to help support the channel. Click on the join button to find out more. In the control panel for the fan controller in the SimDash software, we can set the minimum and maximum fan values and adjust the maximum fan speed output relative to the car speed. And finally, you can test the fans here too.
Coming up next, I have sound tests at different fan speeds. Bear in mind, I am using a phone app for recording the decibels, so the accuracy is not 100%, but should be good enough for a reference. For an extended demonstration, I have posted a separate longer racing video with the speakers and fans running. I've pasted the link in the video description to that one. At the top of the video, I made it clear that the Sim Project's wind simulation kit is modular. You can buy the controller board separate from the fans. So consider this review modular also. We'll talk about the controller board in a moment, but let's continue the conversation about the Sanyo fans. They are compact, they are fast, running up to 16,000 RPM, and they are extremely loud if you allow them to ramp up to 100%, and that's not bearable for any duration of time. For me, 70% max fan speed was the limit of comfort and still supplying a good blast of airflow. They don't overwhelm the sound of my speakers at 70%, but I can hear those fans at mid and top speeds. Of course, the fan speed is linked to the speed of the car, so the loudness changes over the course of the lap, going down a straight, and the fans will run at their fastest, and slowing down for corners, the fans will slow down and be inaudible. If you wear headphones while gaming, you should be able to drown out the fan noise, mostly if not totally, but not exactly a pleasant sound for anybody nearby or at night. Discounting the fan sounds, they are effective at blasting air in your direction. I think the flappy bits I've stuck to the fan shrouds does a good job demonstrating this and also shows you how the fan output is linked to the car motion. The size of these fans are convenient. That could be an advantage to consider. The GoPro mounting brackets enabled me to fix them around my sim rig quite simply. If you decide to use your own fans, as long as they are 4-pin PWM type fans, you can do just that. And all you need is the Sim Project's fan controller board. The board itself is inexpensive and a virtually plug and play setup using the Sim Dash software running in the background. It's compatible with the popular modern Sim titles and many older games too. Getting this up and running really couldn't be made any simpler than this. If you're considering adding wind simulation to your sim rig, the Sim Project's controller board is the most affordable turnkey option I've found. In fact, an Arduino DIY wind sim build won't be much cheaper than this and a whole lot more effort to put together. I would have liked the controller board to have come with an enclosure. Fortunately, you can make one if you have access to a 3D printer. So not a perfect out of the box setup. In addition, I needed to buy extra cables to lengthen the fan wires and the magic arms for mounting the fans. None of this is complicated, but you will need to plan for this when buying. In principle, I think the Sim Projects kit is a good option. Now, whether you go with the Sanyo fans is another question. They are powerful but loud, possibly running larger 120 mm fans with a decently fast RPM could be a better option to reduce the noise. Though, whether they could compete against the force of these beastly Sanyo fans is another story. But do understand an effective wind simulator is never going to be quiet in the least. So consider that carefully. Another question I should answer here uh, and sort of fundamental before considering even going down this path in the first place and that is, is it worth it as a thing? If you're looking to add immersion to your sim racing setup, I'd recommend base shakers, or if you have deeper pockets, motion, or maybe VR or triple screens. I would put those in front of wind simulation. 
Don't get me wrong, I am enjoying this. The wind effect in tangents with the speed of the car does give a relative illusion of motion. And I also appreciate the extra cooling when it's hot. So there is that too. If you're looking to step up the immersion in racing games, there are other accessories I'd add first. Basically that list I just reeled off. In my opinion, adding wind is the sort of thing you tack on last after you've ticked off everything else on your wish list. This is not a game changer, it's a neat trick and nice to have. If you're one of those guys out there that have completely pimped out their sim rigs with just about every known gadget known to man, well I think this one is for you I suppose, I can see the appeal there. For everyone else, there's better ways to put that money to good use. For instance, a base shaker, if you haven't got one of those. It will cost you about the same amount and it's a much more significant enhancement. And there you go, I think we're done here today guys. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you want to support my channel, hit the join button and become a member. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, happy simming and bye bye.